Hi, it's Sagittarius. This is your reading with me for May 2021 for love. I hope you're doing well. So we're going to have a look, see what's coming through. I've got your cards right here. I also do want to mention as well, if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below of my video and uh, you can enter there and see, you know, it's, it's very easy to follow the instructions for the giveaway. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading, they're done within 24 to 48 hours and all the information for that is also in the description box below. Um, so check out the description box. The comment section pin is very, very different. So um, yeah, definitely do click on, it's just under the title of my video. If you click on it, it will open up. And then also there is a link to my Etsy store down below as well. So I have intention manifesting items on there, handmade bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards, which you can put under your pillow in your wallet or your purse. Um, check out the review section to see how other people have seen results with them. There's also face masks, crystals, divination coins, charms, pendulums, cloth bowls, etc. from me to you. And the link is in the description box below. Items are meditated with and staged so yeah do check those out um, if you're interested of course okay so Sagittarius this is for Sun Moon Rising Venus signs you can always check out your other signs for more information for the month okay so let's have a look and see what we have Okay, let's start with this for now. Okay, I am an upright reader, so I thought I'd just mention that, always have been. So, I've got the Two of Wands, Page of Cups, Eight of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Page of Wands, Ace of Cups, ooh, okay. Nine of Cups, Mm-hmm. Okay. Sun. Wow. Do you know what I'm, I'm feeling? Yeah, there you go. Against all odds. Okay, against all odds. Oh, <laughs> my little, like, my little, um, well, this is like a little bucket, <laughs> bucket of pentacles. I was just like, wow. Like, look at all these pentacles. I was like, well, got a whole bucket there as well. Um, let me get the last card, okay, and I'll, and I'll tell you what I'm, I'm seeing here, because the thing is, I'm definitely seeing this energy of, like, against all odds, you got the Queen of Swords there, wow. Yeah, you know, when I was looking at the, the cards here, I was thinking, wow, like, someone seems to be very busy, very focused on work, like, really focused on a million other things, and love was just not really something that was kind of coming through, especially, like, you know, if we sort of just look at these four cards and these two cards, like, there's, there's not much there, right? I mean, there is, don't get me wrong, but in terms of like love and romance, I mean, I was like, oh, you know, there's a lot of focus towards hard work. There's a lot of sort of looking out, you know, into the world and, and looking at dreams and goals and routine and, and things like that, right? It's, it's more so focused on that. <laughs> so the thing here that I see, Sagittarius, is that against all odds, there are things that will work out for you in May. So you know, some of you might be around someone who's just very, very sort of in their mind all the time, they don't necessarily speak their feelings, or they don't speak the truth in regards to how they feel, and that can kind of make you feel a little bit like, oh, I don't know if they care, I don't know if they're actually there for me, I, I you know, I don't know, um, well, I do know, but I'm, I'm telling you that that's what you're going to be thinking, you're going to be thinking, I don't know, you know, um, and the Eight of Pentacles here shows that you might be thinking, oh, they're just really focused on work, like, that's, the main thing that they're always focused on, like, do they care about me? Do they care about anything else? Like, hello, you know? So really for um, a big portion um, of May, um, well, not a huge portion, I, I would really say that the Saturn retrograde seems to be helping you. That's the one thing that I do see here, um, especially with the um, globe that we see here, right? So when I think of this little globe, my my mind just went straight to the world card. Even though we don't have the world card here, it just reminds me of that. And um, the world card is actually ruled by Saturn, um, which is really interesting because that's about structure and routine. So it's almost like the your, your kind of structure and inner being sort of, I don't want to say changes, but it, it goes to a new level, should I say. And what tends to happen is because the 23rd, right, is in the second half of May. 
So, you know, you've got the two here, which also to me represents the second half of May, where there is a big change and there is this energy of things changing for the better. So, you know, the first portion of May, you might feel like, okay, this person's a little bit hot and cold, they're a little bit all over the place, like they do, I feel like they care, but they're not necessarily showing a lot of it, they're very focused in terms of work, and so are you. You're very focused also on, on the things that you can do, but they do make you wonder, you know what I mean? Like, they do make you wonder, um, and then the 23rd comes around, Saturn turns into retrograde, and, and suddenly you're feeling like, wow, they're, they're doing a little bit more towards me, they're putting in a little bit more effort, they're communicating with me a little bit more, they're showing their feelings a little bit more, what is happening, right? And so that's the thing that I see, um, which is quite significant, is that against all odds, they are coming forward, they are coming towards you, especially, you know, in the second half of this reading. So the first half, look at that, right? So what I mentioned is the first half can be a little bit more sort of like work-focused, career focus, then focused on other things, their goals, their dreams. The second half, which is the second half of May as well, and the second half of the spread, which is really interesting. You've got the Ace of Cups, you've got the Nine of Cups, you've got the Knight of Wands, which is a pursuing energy, right? So that's what I see here as well, is if we split up the reading with six, um, six and six, you can see that the second half of the spread, um, which would indicate also, I guess, the second um, half of May, is, is very, very progressive in that sense. Um, especially with the Ace of Cups, they, they are giving you much more in terms of, again, they can be opening up to you, talking to you more, communicating with you more, caring about you more, you know, things like that. And also, they can be like, hey, do you want to go here? Do you want to do a phone call? Would you like to do this? You know, it's it's different for everyone in that case, because of course, it is a general reading, but it's gonna, I feel it's going to resonate with a lot of you where you feel like, wow, okay, I feel content now. I feel content, like they're actually making an effort. I don't need to go above and beyond. I don't need to overthink things. That's what I see here. It helps you, you know, and, and essentially um, you're helping yourself, you know, you're kind of like, okay, all right, I don't need to worry about things. Um, so it can be really at the beginning portion of May, um, you know, Mercury and Venus are entering Gemini, so you might be, you know, overthinking things or just feeling like, oh, you know, it's maybe it's like this, actually, no, it's like this, you know, because the Gemini energy makes us think, you know, two, two ways, and it can be at times a bit like, oh, maybe it's this, maybe it's this, no, actually, maybe it's this, you know, um, some of you might be thinking pros and cons and things like that, you know, it's, it's very, it's very normal to do. Um, and then also on the 13th, Jupiter enters Pisces. So um, essentially, you know, you might be dreaming really, really big and, and you might be sort of down uh, at, at times on your expectations, you know, because expectations can sometimes um, make us feel a little bit like that, especially if they're not necessarily coming to fruition right then and there. So, um, you know, it's, it's nothing terrible in that sense, but I will say that the second half looks to be very uplifting. The first half doesn't look to be terrible in that that sense it's just that you might not be getting as much as you want right but where do you get as much as you want more so in the second half um specifically after the 23rd which i know the 23rd is like isn't that like the last week um technically of may but you know that the thing here is that it's against all odds so really at the beginning you might be thinking oh i don't, I don't even know if i should you know i feel like i should give up i don't really know if i should even trust this person i, I don't even know what's going to happen they're not very open um and then really in the second half, they, they seem to be doing a lot more coming towards you. And I think part of this is because you're focusing more on yourself. And by the time you get to the second half, some of you will be really tired. You'll just be like, oh, whatever, I'm just gonna focus my energy on myself and do me. And I think that's what also is triggering them spiritually to do more towards you. So again, it can be for that reason as well. Um, the more, you know, kind of good you feel within yourself, the more they're tempted to come towards you. Again, this 10 of pentacles as well, you know, they really, really want to make an effort and be noticed by your energy, even with the Queen of Swords, like they want to come forward, they want to do something, they want to be progressive. Um, and that's what I really do see here, especially with the Sun as well. They want to come forward, they want to say something, they feel your warmth, they feel your energy, they feel connected to you. And ultimately, that is one of the, the strongest things that we do pick up here, which I think is obviously super, super powerful too. So this is your reading. Wow. You know, I have to say here that Sagittarius, some of you might be feeling like, oh, you know, do I have to do everything? Do I have to go after this person? No, that's not the truth. You know, love yourself and you will attract the love that you are giving yourself. You know, it's, it's one of those things where Sometimes, you know, some people have to be much more patient than others, but it will work out. And that's something that I do see here. So, you know, do you put energy towards yourself? That's actually what's spiritually triggering them to do much more towards you. And um, for those of you that don't have anybody around you, um, 
it might be worthwhile checking out um, a different reading. Um, perhaps, you know, you can check out your other placements, like if you're here for your sun sign, maybe check out your moon, your rising or your Venus signs, that may help you. Um, so yeah, this is your reading. Um, don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, um, do click on the little bell notification next to the subscribe button if you would like to, um, and um, that will just make sure my videos do go into your subscription box, and um, it doesn't really bombard you with like notifications or anything, it just makes sure that my videos do go in your subscription box and that you're notified when I post a video. Um, so... Yeah, and YouTube is very selective about that. They don't always like show every single time I post, so um, you don't have to worry about that. But um, yeah, do check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, and of course, intention items, which are on Etsy. And do take care, everyone. All right, bye, everyone.